Hannah Giacchino, 23 years old. I am a very sociable person who thrives off being in good company and forming meaningful relationships. I love nurturing and caring for people and this is why I find great joy in working as a learning support educator. I really feel God gave me the grace to get down on their level and be sensitive to their needs. Apart from working with children, I have been doing courses and learning about aromatherapy and the benefits of essential oils. I am really interested to educate people on different ways to use these oils Mother Nature gifted us with and how they can help day-to-day -day ailments such as tension headaches, something I have been struggling with for a long time. I wish to continue in this part and incorporate using essential oils in my work to help children with what they need at that present time. Getting out of my comfort zone and winning the small town has changed my life. Being the small town came with responsibility as I had roles I needed to fulfill and be dedicated to. Consequently, this helped me mature and grow in many ways. Throughout this journey, I learned to put myself out there and in doing this, I met and spoke to so many different people and it gave me the opportunity to experience many new things I never did before. It was also a privilege to collaborate with different sponsors who supported me so much in my journey and I will be forever grateful for that. From this amazing experience, I've also learned to be more resilient and persevere under difficult circumstances. Before entering Miss Mota, I had no experience modeling and initially I doubted myself a lot and felt like a fish out of water. However, this didn't stop me. There were people who didn't agree with me doing Miss Mota or understood what a lot of time and dedication went into it. Strangely enough, this motivated me and spurred me on to visualize me winning Miss Mota. And I prayed for God to give me the strength to persevere. I was blessed to have an amazing director, Kirsten Borg, who was always so encouraging and inspired me to never give up. Having such a good relationship and open communication made this journey so much more beautiful. My advocacy is to minimize the stigma of mental health, as there are so many people who suffer in silence, as they are ashamed of having anxiety or other mental health issues and fear being judged. This is something I did struggle with and I am learning how to embrace my anxiety as it's made me so much more of an empathetic person. We never know what someone is going through and as we all know, social media can be the main culprit of why people feel alone or compare themselves due to it being very deceiving. We need to always keep things in perspective and have a positive attitude despite all the challenges we face in life. I strongly believe everything happens for a reason and from every negative situation, we can grow and continue to better ourselves. Yomi Smolta 2020, Hannah Giacchino.